What's good y'all welcome back to Chronic Blair and today we're back with another CJ the Chan video bro Today is about Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Let's see what this nigga's talking about Hey I feel it bro Loco Baroco I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison And this is my assistant Charlotte Alright everybody that's a rundown of the prison Are there any questions or concerns? Um yes what about Should I say to you to speak? Uh, uh, um no sir that's what I thought so do yourself a favor and shut your ass up! <laughs> bro, CJ really the GOAT. Can't count. Bro, I cannot count. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to jail. I beg your pardon. jail. Goddamn prison! Because Jolene has been locked up. <laughs> So yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Green Dolphin Street Prison. Cause my God, this prison is out of pocket. This makes Alcatraz look like a daycare. But ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive into the aquarium as we will observe pure ignorance. F you punk ass, yeah, hook ass, yeah. Fatherless <laughs> behavior. <laughs> and a priest beating in the name of the Holy Spirit on this special programming God. So ain't like the whole just the JoJo's like every season Every season, basically, um, like the right, the main characters just, keep getting reincarnated or whatever into a different, like, right, a whole, so, basically uh, a whole different show. Jotaro's every season, end up getting locked up. Well, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. So we start off in these holding cells, and they're talking about master. What? I beg your pardon. <laughs> I Something beg your pardon. Going in through the shape of the window box. <laughs> this can't be happening. It's right <laughs> the first scene of the season, and they already talking about. In this I hate this nigga, bro. Sanitary ass cell. And then old girl talking on the left, like, oh, y'all some nasty ass hoes, ain't you? And then Jolie start talking and she like, uh uh uh, don't be talking, boo boo. I could tell just by your finger. You in here for. <laughs> and some people what? really wonder why this show is called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So then old girl, like, oh, so you really like that. So uh, how did you end up in here? Jolene Cujo, 19 years old. I'm in here for stealing and hit and run. <laughs> oh my you, God. Can you please explain to me your situation right now? First of all, man, I'm innocent, so let's get that straight. Well, I'm sorry, man, but if I'm reading this correctly, it says back when you were 14, you had two burglary charges? <laughs> Times are rough. That's what happens when your dad leave you at 14. Okay, okay, but you just please explain the situation. Well, you see, what had happened was me and my nigga Romeo was riding down the street. Me and my nigga Romeo. <laughs> up right before he picked me up i don't know what he was going for but miss cujo please get back to the situation uh my bad chief so uh long story short we ended up hitting the nigga so I'm we ended up hitting the nigga <laughs> romeo said jolene don't do it homie already dead so let's get his body and shove his ass in the trunk so obviously i'm freaking out and everything but then he said jolene listen i'm romeo and you my Juliet. So stop acting weird and shit and let's shove the mother in the trunk. So we shoved him in the trunk and that's why I'm here. Okay, so what you're telling me is Romeo hit the victim, right? I ain't telling you nigga, I ain't no fed. <sighs> Yo funeral then. <laughs> Yo funeral then. So while they're still talking, he ends up giving her this tray and on this tray is a pendant and he says it's from her dad. So obviously she like, my dad, that bum ass, I don't want this shit. But then the pendant ends up plucking her. And well, we all know what happens in JoJo when something weird hits you. Like, let's say a mask or an arrow. So after this, she ends up getting transported over to the prison. And then she meets old girl again. Y'all know what the f going on? It's your girl, Hermes. It's my second <laughs> time in here. And for this offense, Bro, the voice is crazy. The lemon across the street. So then she starts telling Jolene, girl, I hope you got some money on you. If you ain't got no Benjamins on you, you gonna turn into a pack. And bruh, she got it stitched in there. She said, I got five 20s in one and 50 in the other. So they tell Jolene to get off. So in her body? She can still hear the people in the bus. And the officers are trying to rob Hermes. So she take out the 20 in her head, but they like, hey, Shawty, that ain't gonna be enough. So we're gonna have to take off them stitches. But then this thread ends up coming from Jolene's hand. What? Slicing off homies. Oh my god. So then after oh this, my she god. Trial. 
And this is where it started to get wild. So the judge says, I see that you took this plea deal, but the <coughs> thing is, the body that you disposed of, homeboy was still alive. So therefore, you are an accessory to murder. So that'll be 15 years. Huh? Get out there. 15? Look at the lawyer, bruh, just let it happen. She like, wait a minute, this makes no sense. I struck a deal. And look at this middle earth elf ass acting like nothing happened. So he walks back and this whole time, homeboy was getting freaky with Romeo. <laughs> So Jolene got packed up. I cannot believe this. She was sent <laughs> off to the Green Dolphin Street Prison. I go. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so while she's going through intake, she ends up seeing the lawyer again. And look at her. She like, ooh, I swear to God, I'm gonna chop the shit out of your ass. So while he's driving away, one of her threads come through his AC, and she ended up choking the nigga. That was quick. Quick and to the point, get him out of there. She really like that. So then after this, we end up meeting the warden. Loco Baroco, I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison, and this is my assistant, Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's the rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? I love uh, the yes, Beyond Scare Straight team, bro. Uh, uh, um, no, sir. No, bitch, we that's didn't. What I thought. So do yourself a favor and, and shut, shut the fuck up. So then we end up meeting her cellmate, Gwes. So Jolene tries to put her stuff on the bottom bunk, but she throws the whole barbell at her. Oh, what? The bottom bunk is mine, you nasty b You could take the top. But she ends up having the pendant, and there's this bird, and there is a literal person in there. So then she over here sitting on this bench yelling at this bird, and she ends up choking the life out of the bird. Yo, somebody call Peter. But Jolene ends up grabbing the bird, and that is out of commission. So then Gwes comes over and grabs her like a titan. What? How did she, she get small? Put on this rat suit so she can help her escape prison. So she makes Jolene run through this gate, but her body starts to grow again. So Ew. While she's running back to the gate, this ugly ass stand. Oh my god like a gremlin so she ends up getting stuck in this bar so google dolls tries to jump up and kill her but she ends up smacking that nigga. she's like oh my god is this is this my stand so she ends up rocking her oh my god oh you really thought you was about to bro i ain't no jojo's on, on this well i'm about to beat you like my daddy bitch. Yeah. Damn. She's off to beat you like my dad. The life out of her. So yeah, bro, she was done. And she took the bottom bunk for my ass. Made her sorry ass take the top bunk. So then the next day, Joe. She beat the dog shit out of that girl. This girl come over and ask her for some money. And she's saying she'll pay it back. So she give us some spare change. But then Gwes come back over and she like, Jolene, girl, what the hell are you doing giving your money out like that? That's how you become a bitch. You best go get your money back or you're going to be looking like her. Um. <laughs> So Jolene goes and tracks her down and asks her for the money back, but then the girl says, Didn't I say I'll pay you back? What wrong with you, nigga? Does your brain not work or something? Because obviously you can't process shit. So Jolene walked back and she like, all right then. So she ends up putting some laxatives in her coffee. So she runs Oh, shitty booty ass girl, huh? Doodle, but Jolene's sitting in the bathroom. So she like, okay, I'm sorry. I'll give you your money back. You know what? I'll even double it. So she come out and smack the she like sold. Now give me that ten dollars. Appreciate doing business with you. So then as she walking Bitch. over to the door, she sees this baseball and then she sees this little boy. So then the kids start talking and saying, You will have a visitor, but do not meet the visitor. So then after this, the kid disappears in this girl. Ain't he the visitor? Smacks on the head. Ain't said, he the you visitor? Looking at a ghost bitch? Oh, I'll show you Casper. <laughs> Damn, they ruthless as hell, beating the shit out there. The day, homeboy come back, and he started antagonizing her. He like, oh, sorry for yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean to hit you that damn hard, but uh, you was touching the bars, and I had to follow the rules, my <laughs> Oh, and by the way, you got a visitor. So she goes to see the visitor, and it's none other than Joe Taroko. Oh, Joe, shit. I am him. Don't play with me. He I'm is him. Dead out deal. Oh, <laughs> Joe's <laughs> heavenly grave. I am him. So no. Looking at him, and she like, oh, hell nah. So she socks the security guard, and she like, oh, so it looks like you finally came back from that grocery trip. Did you ever get the milk, nigga? Cause damn, it took you long enough. Did you ever get the milk, nigga? <laughs> Little girl, shut the f up and sit down. Listen, you were framed. 
my homeboy right here. You wanna know why you were framed? Because you are Joe Star. Our family been having ops since the 1800s. So Jolene goes Our family been having ops since the 1800s. And, and she ended up getting shot. <laughs> Well, luckily, she ended up stopping it. So, John Gallier's stand Manhattan transfer is like literal wall hacks with a ricochet effect. Look at homeboy posted up in his cell sniping. So, the security guard gets up and he ends up doming the security guard. Oh my god, first face Gabby and now face John Gallier. God oh god. Damn. Like, who's next? Face Usopp? So, later nah, on, bro. Oh, face Usopp is real, bro. He this really from face. Illusion. Did somebody bust the lock? Nope, nope, nope. Nah, bro. I, I got a dirty mind. That's why Dog told her not to so talk to him. The room, but then a guard approaches. And then another guard approaches. And the first one pops a cap in his ass. And they're like, wait a damn minute. Ain't no way. It's that good face, Homie damn. came in with the close combat because he was missing his shots. So homie starts blasting. So Jotaro has to use Star Platinum. But then this Stan ends up coming behind him. Bro says, hmm. Looks like you've fallen into my trap. Witness the power of White Tooth Snake. So, bro, pimp slaps him. And these discs come out of my boy's head. Bro basically stole my dude's rooms. And now he's getting shot. Oh, my God. Damn. So then Joe that means he ain't the main character. He starts beating his ass. And look at Joe Tro. He's like, hmm, looks like my daughter's beating some ass. Looks like I've done a great job as a father. Now I'm about to pass help. And they teed his ass. So Jolene takes him outside, but it looks like our boy is down for the count. But there is still hope. So she starts talking to the kid again, and he basically says, yo dad got his soul snatched. So we learned the kid's name is Emporio. And bro grew up in the prison. He was born here. He was raised here. Oh my God. Ew. This nigga's Bane. I was born in it. No cap. No born cap though. By it. So we go back to face John Gallier after he got his ass beat. So White Snake pull up and he's like, hmm, looks like you got your ass beat. So therefore, you're kicked from phase. <laughs> so after this, Jolene ended up getting another five years added onto her sentence because of that escape. And she got stuck in the punishment war for like <laughs> weeks. So a few weeks end up passing. So they got everybody outside to so the warden like, all right, everybody listen to f up. We had two inmates go missing the other day. So uh, uh somebody need to go find their asses. So Jolene volunteers in armies as well because she's like, hmm, have to tell her about my side quest. So they have to, I have put to these tell her about my side quest. A suicide <laughs> squad or something. So the guard says, if you get 50 meters away from me, your ass goes boom, boom. So he ends up getting on a four wheeler and he takes off. So they like, wait a damn minute. Hold on, homeboy, you're going a little too fast. So later on, Hermes ends up catching up to Jolene. So she's like, hmm, what's up, girl? I got to tell you about my side quest. So you see, what had happened was. I got this new stand called Kiss. It's like some stickers, like some arts and crafts and shit. So I ended up beating him through with a broom. And then I fought the same janitor. His name was McQueen. And he was trying to off himself. And every time he did that, the same thing happened to me. I even offered him my panties, but I guess he didn't want no coochie. I also met the little nigga with the baseball cap. So uh, that's why I'm talking to you right now. So later on, while they walking, the guard comes in and tries to antagonize him. So bro starts messing with him and tries to make him fall in crocodile doo-doo. Like, bro, what is wrong with these guards? And also, there are six prisoners out there, and they started off with five. So somebody is an imposter. So then the bombs start beeping, and they look over at the officer, and then gone. And then a girl in the back, like, wait a minute, why is mine beeping faster? Hello. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's got to be one of the most tragic deaths I've ever seen. You really died to a wrist bomb. So they pull up on them and they like, all right, all three of y'all nasty motherfuckers, freeze. One of y'all is a stand user, so who is it? Fess up. So Jolene ends up smacking this one girl. So Army's like, girl, why you hit her like that? And Jolene said, hmm, shit, I don't know. I'm just going to drop all their asses. But then this one girl grabs her and all three of them start talking. What? What in the Invader Zim is that? See, what, what the, the fuck? I hadn't, bro. I really like, have never seen JoJo, like, but why the fuck is this shit so crazy? Disrespect my set and run up on my lake. So homeboy, Bazaar is like the word for real. Skeleton. Why the fuck? <laughs> so then Jolie starts chasing after him, and then he's like, "Oh, I see you trying to get these discs. Well, uh, too bad, you nasty." Bitch. But then she started making the tractor move and the disc are taking off with it. So homeboy hit the jets. He's like, my precious disc. How dare you hit a lick on me? But the dirt ended up slowing him down and homeboy was done for. So then Hermes was about to throw some dirt on him. But then Jolene stops. She's like, ah, 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 stop. We're going to keep him. 
So Hermes is like, you want to keep this ugly ass peanut head ass green bean looking ass yes. still alive? We should Absolutely. feed this water type Pokemon ass to the crops. But Jolene said, no. I hereby announce this severed head of a water type Pokemon a Jobro. A uh, so Jobro. So finding Star Platinum's disc. But then the girl that got blown up earlier then pulled back up. And she like, hold on, it's your trusty homegirl Foo Fighter. She's I not. She's, that's an imposter. Girl body. With this old pineapple head ass haircut, she got a leaf on her head. So they end up getting I don't know what she got. The cops. So later on that evening, we see white. They keep the going shit. back to jail, and though. They sick. We see the user. Father Poochie, I spend the block in the name of the Lord. I am that dead. nigga. <laughs> Father, I was wondering if I could get parole. <laughs> parole? You must be out of your damn mind. But father, I, 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 don't speak until I tell you to speak, bitch. Yes, father. Now then, sister, have you paid your? Don't speak unless I tell you to speak, bitch. Oh, <laughs> no, father. Mm, mm, mm. oh nah, boo boo, that ain't gonna do. Have you taken your communion this month? Oh, no, father. Oh, sweet Lord, heavenly Jesus, we got a sinner. But father, I promise you. Yeah, my, my, my. From the streets did she emerge, and to the streets she shall return. And I say unto you, she is for the streets. She is so for the streets. When she must return from when she can. Nigalations chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. Drill that into your head, bitch. So later on, that nigga playing catch, this one is girl funny. sipping on FF water. So she like, hey, go get your nasty ass, busted ass 360 ways away from my goddamn water. So they keep on playing catch. And the girl that Poochie beat up pull up and she like, I bet y'all $100 y'all won't last. So Jolene like, hold on, I ain't got that type of money. She said, it don't matter. I'll take anything of value. So Jolene's like, no, but then Armies comes up and she's like, yo, Jolene, we cannot pass this up. You see how many racks she got in her sock? We playing the game. So they start playing we playing the game. The game. <laughs> and then Foo Fighters gets distracted. She like, hey, f away from my cup, nigga. So she almost dropped the damn ball, but they end up making it to 100. So then she like, I right, then I throw it 100 more times and I'll give you a whole band. Take it or leave it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. You telling me she got a whole band in prison? Ain't no way. Bro. How did she get that in there? I mean, that one girl did say she had like 55 or something like starting that. To get late, hey, up. And then the guard come behind her. He's like, hey, nigga, time is up. So put the damn ball down. So she like, okay, here, here, here. I'll pay you for more time. So he like, all right, then. I'll be taking the all ball. Right, so she ends up almost dropping the ball, but she picks it up with her stand ability. But apparently that was against the rules. So then old girl Stan comes out. Stan was like, pay your debt. So it rips out the money that was stuck in her side boob. Then she like, hmm. That Bro, no what? I'll be taking your liver. I was just talking about her money too. Her, her liver. Looking at that. So Jolene and Foo Fighters start playing again so they can get her liver back. So they keep on running. So now they stuck on an elevator. So then she throw the ball up, but the security guard ends up catching the ball. What the Said, fuck? I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. And look at the ugly ass. She's like, <laughs> game over, nigga. Now pay your debt, bitch. But then she ends up smacking her with the ball. She like, you really didn't think I would have a backup plan, did you? You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she made it rain up in that hole. Oh my then God. The next day she go over to use the phone. So the big old lunch lady like, hey, bitch, what the f Hold on, hold on, take a seat, boo boo. <laughs> Get real comfortable. Bitch, give me that Take a coat too, sister. <laughs> Stay blessed. So then she ends up calling the Speedwagon Foundation. So they like, all right, listen, we still got your dad body up in here. So if you want to give us that disc, meet us in the courtyard. So then she ended up walking up to this double chin looking guard. She got the Kodak going on and everything. So she oh, yeah, she got the wicks, nigga, the, the wicks. She said, you can pass. So then she sees Emporio again. He says, bring your ass over here. So then she ends up getting sent to this ghost room. She's like, hold on, what is going on? Why is homie in a piano right now? Weather report, I'm a certified meteorologist. And also this piano is comfortable as hell. So she's like, wait a minute, Emporio, so you're a stand user? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm Casper. Look, I can Hell yeah, nigga, I'm house. Casper. I'm a video game character inventory. So they're going to try to get to the courtyard so Weather Report is going to come along and help. And my God, homie getting real close. To, hey, what's good with you? So they head into the Hey, what's courtyard. good with you? <laughs> what is that? Oh, no, nah, bro. Look at him. Look at his shoes. This damn reject Spider-Man concept art. So while old doodle man's on the prowl, Jolene starts to float. So she's like, ah, his standability is zero gravity. 
So they end up following old Doodle Man to this room, and he started to suck all the oxygen out of the room. I think you said we followed old vacuum. Doodle Man. Well, then Weather Report ends up making some cloud suits. And then they end up beating Doodle Man's ass. Thank God, bro. Get him off of my screen. Like, yo, this man Lang Wrangler gives me absolute nightmares. Like, when I think of the Boogeyman, I think of this nigga. So then the door starts to open, and Poochie is at the door. Bro, looking at Jolene like, my, my, if it isn't the fatherless child of Jotaro Kujo, should I beat her ass right now or let her pass? So she's like, please, father, let me pass. So I just looked at her and said, all right, then. I don't need to give up my identity yet. So she finally makes it to the courtyard. All right, so then. So she sees the dude. So she's thinking, oh, my gosh, that's him. That's the contact. So she walks up to him. And this man pulls out the blicky. This man. <laughs> that's like, tough, oh, bro. Stupid, bitch. You really thought you was going to get out of here with that disc? So we get a flashback to 1988. And this man, Poochie, is chilling with the biggest hater in anime The history. biggest. This man, Dio. The ultimate hating ass nigga. Bro, it's like, I wake up, breathe, and hate. You know who I really hate, though? Them goddamn Joe stars. So Poochie ended up learning the way to become an ultimate hating ass nigga. So he could have sent to So that's his, that's this, that's this one, Dio. So Weather Report is over here beat up, and he's like, huh, I guess I have to use my final attack. So it starts raining breaking news out in florida it is literally <laughs> raining frogs out there. what the I mean, fuck it is florida. <laughs> are we surprised that like this happens no we aren't so yeah this man weather report literally started making it rain poisonous frogs so this man poochie's like god damn i got all this shit on my 800 dollars pants knuckle so he starts counting prime numbers to calm himself down so poochie sees his guard he's like hey prime on, numbers the why the but fuck he starts running away so he's like why is that gonna calm somebody so down he kicks the frog at dude and makes him go blind yo so we got the dude to open the door and he just left so he walks outside to go get the disc from jolene but she was shielding herself the whole time so she got the disc off to the bird that was the actual contact so this man that was the actual was contact. Pissed. Why was the bird a contact? Starts going crazy. Bruh said, "Oh, you think you did something? Bitch? You ain't do jack shit, nigga. That's why your daddy did, and you will always be a fatherless ass child." So why oh, make left? Fucking crazy. Jolene went to the ICU, and it was just another day at the Green Dolphin Street Prison. <laughs> So yeah, that was Beyond Scared Straight JoJo edition. That so, is so uh, crazy. Enjoyed, uh, also, one million subscribers. Thank y'all very much. Bro. Yes, it sir. Is very, it's just mind boggling to me. Like for real, like, I'm just a dude that just likes to watch anime and talk about it. And it's just crazy to me, you know, that like we, we really up in here now. So uh, thank y'all so much, man. Uh, make sure y'all go follow my other socials and uh, I am out of here. Goat. The goat, the goat, bro. CJ the sheriff. Oh god, that was a good video, bro. Hey, hey. I never watched JoJo's for real, for real, so I really wasn't hit. What happened? People were saying that like they um, I think it's part. I think that's part six. I want to say it was, I know it's ocean something. People said it was good. You know what I'm saying? But JoJo's is just not my piece of pie. I'm not gonna cap you up. But that was some crazy shit that was happening. Like, comment, and subscribe if you knew. I'm out, bro.